Hi everyone, Scott and Marla Berger with the Tree of Life Movement and the Tree of Life Intention Stick and 20 <laughs> and 22 days of intention. Wow, I'm already just receiving the energy. Uh, and thank you for allowing Marla and I to come into your homes each and every day at 11, 11 or whatever time that may be for you in the United States or around the world. And again, I just have to share our, our gratitude from just the messaging and the love that we're receiving and again the continued stories that Marla and I keep hearing from you and thank you, thank you because that's what we want again to share with you the importance about this being about us collectively, about all of us at this time that again we're going through this together regardless if we're here or on the other side of the world and everyone uh, is going through this and, and as we share with you each and every day, this too shall pass because we see what's already happening about the health in China and Italy and things getting back to quote unquote norm. But again, it's just patience and it's about understanding that we're here for one another right now in a time that we need to be here for one another, again, to, to just listen, to inspire, to help someone get through something, again, maybe much worse than what someone else is going through. And that's, again, what we see and witness each day that fills us up or will fill you up with, with that happiness. And as always, uh, Marla is not here with me physically. She's at home still healing and she's with us uh, in spirit. And uh, as we have our morning discussions, if she's not here, uh, we felt today was such a beautiful intention um, and we wanted to choose that beautiful intention of success. And I want to make sure I'm sharing this with you guys just to make sure. And as I share with you each and every day that we choose a new intention. Um, as, as we get up every morning, we open our eyes and and it's how we're going to live each and every day and how we want to live that life of intention. And, and I know you've heard Marlon and I say, when we live a life of intention, we live a meaningful and purposeful life. And, and when we're not living a life of intention, we say it's like getting into your car without GPS or a destination. How do you know where you're going? And when you get there, what are we supposed to do? So it's, it's that, again, that tool, that reminder that we set each and every day, that intention, and today's intention is, is success and how we want to have that day unfold for, for you. And something that, why we say we wear it around our necks is, and we say over our heart, over our heart chakra, and I know some may not know the seven chakras from top, you know, everything. And again, it's a learning process, but um, we wear it close to our heart um, because what we put out from our heart comes back in, right? If we're putting out more success, more kindness, more love, only more of that comes back into our lives. But if we're putting out worry or stress or fear or anger or, or whatever, then only more of that comes back into our lives. We say laws of attraction or actually science, the third law of physics, law of motion. So I know we've all been somewhere and we've walked into a room and all of a sudden you're like, ooh, I want to go say hi to those people or ooh, I need to stay away because it's what energy is coming from that person. And, and scientifically, our hearts put out an energy that's measured within a mile radius. So again, we have to be aware of our heart and what we're putting out because I promise you it's being felt. Whether you know it or not, you can change the energy within a room. You can walk in and light it up or you can walk in and <laughs> Debbie Downer. You can really bring it to a halt. So again, when we, we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. So I wanted to share again today about success. And I'm smiling and I know Marla at home is smiling right now because we cannot keep up with 
the amount of success stories. And I, I want to reshare with you something so powerful. And, and I know Marla and I may have mentioned when we received th that message, the download, again, when we quiet this, we received so much. And sometimes we have to say, shut the heck up because it's always trying to tell us you're not good enough, smart enough, pretty handsome enough. You can't do that. Shut the heck up and listen to this. So when we close this, we receive this. And when we received our 22 words, our 22 intentions, which is 1111, by the way, uh, if you, you start to get into some of the numerology, um, but much later from, from learning ourselves and from working with different spiritual leaders or religious leaders or therapists or doctors around the world or friends in Kabbalah, it's not 22 words that Marla and I received to share. Each one of these words has 72 different interpretations. So when I say, for example, today, the word success, most people may say, I need success maybe in monetary abundance, or I need success in a, a relationship that I'm in, or success within family or community or success for a project that I'm working on and, and so on. Again, it's what that intention means to you. And, it, and, and it's never wrong. It's just, again, how you interpret that word, that intention for yourself. And, and that's why Marla and I say the combination of putting in three different intentions, it, it is all in alignment. It all works together in synchronicity. It's, it's incredible. But some of the first funny stories that I'm just going to share is we literally had within uh, two days, three different friends either text or call Marl and I to say after putting in the word success, they couldn't handle any more business or clients coming in. They literally had to remove the word. Um, but again, also stories of success on a beautiful project that someone was working on or success that someone was going to get healthy, that we work with many different patients or sicknesses or doctors around the world, that the success not only for health, for treatment, whatever that again may be for you, but what Marl and I wanted to share with you today was really one of the most beautiful success stories with a dear brother of ours that Marl and I have known for almost 25 years, a, a dear friend of ours, uh, Andrew, and um, Andrew's been in the, the real estate business his whole life, and uh, our children grew up together, and, and truly, this is family. This is, this is love for one another. This is, again, unconditional love. This is what we're sharing with you about this whole mission, of course, is unconditional love for one another, but uh, Andrew received his intention stick about three years ago, really one of the very first ones that was ever made. I think one of the very first 3,000 intention sticks that were ever made, and it was made in, in pewter. It was the first ones that we did, and, and he came over to the house, and we shared the whole story, and it just it touched his soul. And he put in the word success. And I think he also put in the word trust uh, and, and maybe one other, and I'll have to ask him, but I know he, he, he left our house and over these last three years, his journey from him sharing, which I know he would share with you, from being at a point um, when the market crashed and everything he had was in that market to putting this around his neck and, and trusting that what he needed to do from that day forward would lead him into not only becoming one of the most successful realtors around the world, but to build a business from the ground up and, and taking a leap of faith from leaving one company to another and starting his own and building a community, building a, a family, not real estate agents, but truly a family that he could 
guide and mentor and let these beautiful souls also live a life of intention. And, and we've come numerous times to speak in front of 30, 60 different realtors at a time where we've literally had the entire room stand up as we passed out all of the intention sticks and held hands and did an, an intention uh, meditation and all of those beautiful souls choose or excuse me chose their intentions what they needed at that day and also watch them create success in their lives but but not just success but success as as an overall and and what even is coming from this story that Andrew shared with Marla and I about a month ago is, is not just within our own community, but to reach out to all of the different souls that he knows around the world because the success and the gift that he was given three years ago. And again, this is why we receive all of our gifts, our, our, our knowledge, our abundance, our platforms. Again, think about this. It's to help another. It's to touch another soul. To, to again, to have a soul-to-soul -soul connection, to let someone know that, as Marla and I say, you matter, you have purpose, you are loved, and you are just as important as anyone else in this world. And that's success. Success is, is for the entire world global accept global success of us coming back together as one as as us seeing all of us as the same again we share there is no black white pink yellow there is no christian judah buddhist muslim our, our souls are the same success is seeing us all as a brother and sister and knowing that we're all here to help one another as we, as you, as Andrew, and all of the beautiful, the tens of thousands of people around the world that are wearing their intention stick, that are understanding what this is about, to, to fill themselves back up with what they have been so depleted of. So if our vessels have been so depleted of everything, which we're here to do in our lifetime, repair our own vessel to to fill ourselves back up with what we need because we cannot possibly give what we do not have. So if we're depleted of success or love or kindness or happiness, all of these beautiful intentions, how can we possibly give what we do not have? We can't, even though we want to. And I know you all know this. What does it say on an airplane when we're flying? If an oxygen mask drops, right? It says, take for yourself first, then help others. This is about repairing our own vessels. This is about filling ourselves back up with what we need in a time that is so needed to understand we're here to help one another, To again, to see everyone the same. So, um, and that was, by the way, the short story of that. That was the short version of that story. I just want you to know because I could share three hours of that story alone and more, but I, I know we're going to start having all of these beautiful people sharing their stories together with Marl and I and, and these beautiful calls so, that, so they can actually share them with you. So as I, I, I share with you, Marl and I, every day we're going to do this beautiful global meditation right now where I'm going to have you hold your phone or hold your computer screen and and as we say just close your eyes so we're just grounding ourselves right now so we're being present we're being in the moment and and again when i say being present it, it's exactly it's exactly what that word means it's a gift we're, we're we're being in the moment we're being here together we're not worrying about like i said yesterday or tomorrow we're just understanding the gift or the the miracle taking place at that moment or any time that that moment's happening in your life. And I just want you first just to take a deep breath in right now through your nose, through your diaphragm, and exhale through your mouth. So it just brings us at a calm or at peace. And we're going to do this together.
And as we do each day, I'm going to have you take in three breaths through your nose and through your diaphragm. And just pause for a moment. But when we're taking in each breath together, I want you to breathe in the word success and whatever that means for you, whether it is success with family or a relationship or a project or for abundance or whatever that again may be for you. I want you to breathe that in in just a moment and exhale the things that no longer serve us, that we, we, we need to let go of, that we've been carrying with us our whole lives. And again, to just realize not to go back to those moments because we can't change them. We need to now move forward. So just to, to let that go and say thank you for those lessons and gifts. So we're going to do this together now. And we're going to do three breaths. I want you to keep your eyes closed and we're going to do the blessings and meditation together. First and foremost, that you all receive blessings of health and courage and gratitude and light and love and success and everything that you all need in your lives right now to fill up your beautiful hearts and souls with unconditional love which will allow you to fully heal, which will allow you to continue to help so many more brothers and sisters heal, which will unify all mankind and bring us back together as one so we should all see heaven on earth as it is here now. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for again, allowing Marl and I to, to do this for you. And, and again, this is about us collectively and just feeling us together as one, regardless if someone's watching this or not. It's We are raising the vibration of this beautiful planet and affecting the souls that are here, right? Again, think about what I said earlier when we're putting out that light and that love and that kindness and the gratitude and the happiness. We're affecting a mile within our area. We, we don't realize that, but we are. We're, we're tipping those scales. So that's why I say, or Marlon, I say each day, whether you live life to the fullest versus living in fear, right? Again, if we would understand who's standing by our side, our soul, and, and, and to, to understand we're all being guided, and, and open the window, breathe in fresh air, go for a walk, go outside, go for a bike ride, say hi to someone, ask how they're doing. And again, as you know, my response when someone says, how are you? We answer blessed because we all are blessed. We opened our eyes. We have a roof. We can get out of bed. We are so blessed. We stop looking for the answer on the external. Our happiness comes from within. And it's having a soul-to-soul -soul connection to, again, let someone know they're loved, that they matter, that they have purpose, and they are just as important as everyone else in this world. And please continue to share your stories. Oh, my goodness, whether it's messaging us on, on Instagram or Facebook or via email, you go to our website, treeoflifemovement.com or treeoflifemovement.org, intentionstick.org. There's so many I know. Go on to um, our YouTube, Tree of Life Movement. You can follow each story every day. And please, like I said, take selfies, share your stories. We love that so we can share your story because it's resonating with someone out there that's going through something, but they're feeling alone. And that's, you're not alone. You, you guys are never alone. You, we are here. This is our spiritual family. This, again, is about us collectively. So one, as always, Marl and I are sending you blessings and intentions of gratitude, light, and love. 
and we love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I can't wait to speak with you guys tomorrow and make it the best day ever.